What's up you guys, it's Bart here. In today's video, I'll be running through a few reasons as to why I became a real estate agent and most importantly, why you should do the same in 2022. So I'm gonna run through a few reasons as to why uh, it works for me and why for some people actually it might not be the right role. So stick around and I'll be taking us through four reasons and um, which will hopefully give you a better insight into what you can get out of being in the real estate industry uh, and more so as an agent uh, than any other role. So the first reason as to why I became a real estate agent and why you should probably become a real estate agent is the confidence that the job sort of gives you, if that makes sense. So I went into the industry from a very young age, 17 years old, fresh out of school, didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and to be honest, it's taught me so much, uh, both in like from a personal point of view and a professional point of view. But the most important thing that it's given me is, is more confidence. So um, sort of throwing yourself into an environment where it really can be quite you know dog eat dog you're sort of competing against other people and these people are much older than you are and um, it can get a bit intense and, and then again meeting like new clients on a daily basis as well and um, having to having to go to viewings and, and sort of talk to strangers make conversation and trying to sell to them on, on a daily basis really does sort of force you to become more confident now I didn't start off as one of the most confident people in the world I'll be completely honest like back when I was a, a, a sort of a young teenager I guess you could say like 13 14 I genuinely couldn't talk to people properly but then I became a football referee and it all sort of changed but now that I've become an agent as well um, the sort of confidence that I've gained from all of that um, has made a big difference so if you want to sort of become better at public speaking and and presenting yourself to other people and, and I guess anything to do with confidence, become an agent, become a salesperson or, or become somebody that's in, in a sort of client facing role on a daily basis and it will really help. So that's something that it's done for me and it's something that it could do for you and it's one of the sort of main reasons as to why I think going into agency um, is, is a great thing to do. Now the second reason as to why I think you should become a real estate agent in 2022 is the fact that it gives you the ability to sell. Now sales is one of the most underrated skills in my opinion. I think Graham Stephan said something quite similar. I genuinely think if you have sales under your belt you can do a lot in business. Whether it's selling toothpaste or houses or whatever it might be, having sales in your skill set is ever so important. Once you can sell yourself, you can sell anything. And it's such a valuable skill that a lot of people um, don't really appreciate. Yes, communication is very important and written ability and all of these other things, but having sales and having that sort of zip and vibe um, that sort of inspires other people to buy into whatever it is that you're selling can be very powerful. And once you've got that, it's you can take in any direction. So I think it's one of the most flexible skills whether you're working in marketing, whether you're working in sales, whether you're working in whatever it might be, being able to sort of sell yourself or sell a product or whatever it might be is very powerful, purely because it's one of the most one of the most diverse skills um, that you can almost take into any industry. Um, so that's the second reason as to why I became an agent and why you should become an agent too. If anything, it's given me more confidence, which is sort of the first point I mentioned. Um, and, and, and second of all, it's just given me the ability to, to improve um, on my sales skills, which as I say, you can take into anything that you do in life. So the third reason as to why I think you should become an agent and why I became an agent is the network. Now this might be one of the most important um, points on the list really. Once you're sort of in the real estate industry, you tend to meet a lot of different people on a daily basis. So I'm out doing viewings day in day out and every single day it's guaranteed that I'm going to meet somebody new whether it's in the street whether it's when I'm going on evaluation whether I'm doing a viewing or whether I'm on the phone every single day I'll be speaking to somebody new now that is honestly so so powerful in my opinion it's having the ability to sort of meet lots of different people gain different perspectives learn from these people go into business with these people is is so powerful and once you start selling well once you've started, um, once you've sort of sorted out the sales side of things, you get yourself into the right rooms and the right people. So, let's say I get a five million pound instruction um, in Q, which is where I work at the moment. I'm now speaking to people that have a net worth that's that's very high, much higher than mine at the moment. So, being in and around those sort of people with 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 that sort of mindset, with the money making mindset, and with uh, with the ability to make money it's only going to result in you making more money if that makes sense your your network is your net worth people say so um 
having having access to all these different people through real estate um, is very very important. There's not many jobs where you sort of meet new people on a daily basis, so. I just generally think it's one of the most important things um, to do with the rock. And I guess just to add to that point on the network, I, you've got to be very careful as well with uh, with working as an agent. There will be a lot of people that try and put you down. I remember my, in my first couple of days as an agent, I had a lady on the phone that called in to ask about the market and she started quizzing me. And of course I was quite fresh to the role. I didn't really know how to reply. And she ended up ripping into me, telling me how much of a bad agent I am. She'll never use our company and all of this and all of that. So you've got to be very careful um, when you surround yourself by all of these random people to, to almost pick what advice uh, works for you and what you want to implement into your sales, into your life, into your relationships, into whatever it might be. So having this huge network of people around you is great and you can really, really open up so many doors by, by just knowing people. Um, but at the same time, it can be quite dangerous. So it's important to, uh, to recognize that and to make sure that you're not sort of listening to everything that everyone tells you, um, if that makes sense. But on the whole, having a great network and having a big network can only result in, in positive things if you treat it carefully. So I genuinely believe that it's, um, again, one of, the, one of the main reasons people should go into real estate um, and certainly one of the reasons that I went into real estate. Now, the fourth and final reason is something that's probably going to keep me in the industry for the rest of my life. And it's the fact that I really enjoy houses and like architecture and things like that. I generally do sort of enjoy seeing some really nicely presented homes, really good interior design. And I know a lot of people would say, well, why don't you go into interior design and things like that? Well, first of all, it's not going to make me a lot of money and it's not going to teach me everything that I've just sort of <laughs> pitched to you in this video. Um, but actually enjoying um, I don't know, architecture and buildings and houses and the way people live and, and, and all of these sort of emotions to do with property. I think having that is, is quite important when you're in the industry as well. Um, so it's something that's that's sort of, um, I don't know, I guess pushing me along to, to strive for, you know, better listings and becoming a better agent, selling more, just so that I can then have access to the better properties and nicer properties. Um, and then I'll be able to share them with you on the channel uh, and I'll be able to sell them as well, which gives me great satisfaction. Um, at the moment, the, the most expensive one I've sold, well, let, let's, let's not talk about that, but the nicest property I've sold um, it's genuinely like a you know like a two and a half thousand square foot family home. It's got like frosted glass and you can turn on and off. These sort of things really do excite me. Um, so I think having that is um, is very important and sort of I don't know do well in the industry um, because it really does come through when you're excited about a property um, and you're able to pass that excitement on to the viewers to the buyers. Um, it can only end up in in a positive and hopefully in a sale. So. That final reason is, is more of a personal one as to why I became a real estate agent personally. Um, but if you do like properties, if you do sit, you sit there and find yourself watching people like Eric Canova and Ryan Sohan touring these massive homes in America um, and you genuinely enjoy that sort of thing, um, maybe becoming an agent is something that you should look into as well. So that wraps up today's video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all of the support over the last couple of weeks. We're growing as a channel. Everything is great. If you could leave a like under the video, it'd be much appreciated. Drop some comments in there below as well. Tell me what you want to see. I'm going to try and focus more so on real estate on the channel now. So if it's something that you'd like to watch, make sure to subscribe. And let's try and hit a thousand subscribers as soon as we can. And with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.